What's up guys, today we're going to be going over this really cool handwritten trendy design style that a lot of musicians and designers are using nowadays that's really easy to make. There's two ways to do this effect that we're going to go over. The first way, if you're lazy like me, is going to be completely digital. So we're not going to be drawing anything physically. We're just going to be using our mouse or trackpad. The pros are it's fast and you can edit it at any time because it's vectorized. The second way, we're going to be drawing and then physically adding that into Photoshop and digitizing it. The pros to this is you get a more unique and organic handwriting look and there's a possibility to make more happy mistakes that can lead to a really cool aesthetic that you didn't think will happen. So let's get to it and let's make this effect together. So for the all digital effect, let's open up Adobe Illustrator and let's set the artboard for 1000 by 1000 pixels. We're going to drag the cool Frank Ocean inspiration into our artboard. And then on the left hand side on the toolbar, we're going to toggle between the paintbrush tool and to adjust the stroke thickness, the shortcut is the left and right bracket. So the left will make the stroke smaller and the right bracket will make it look bigger. So just tap on that and scale it to a size that you like, whether you want it to look like a thick Sharpie or thin pencil outline. So we're just going to freehand it right now. I'm doing it on a trackpad. So it's going to be a little more difficult than on a Wacom. We're going to start off with the F first and make our way to the left and right. So we're just going to sketch that out really quickly. And what's nice about creating it on the paintbrush tool is that if we don't have one that we like, we can continuously iterate it or we can go back and edit the points to make the curvatures and the sizing how we like it. All right, after we have that done, we're going to go back and tweak some of the elements, just clean it up a bit more, make sure that the points are not overlapping. So after we have that feeling good, we're going to start rotating the text. So then it looks like the composition that we want right now. It kind of leans a little more to the right. So let's straighten it out a bit more. After we have a lettering that we're happy with, we can select the whole thing. And then you can see from the top panel, we could select the stroke thickness. So just as easy as that, we can make it super thin, like a pencil drawing or very thick, like a thick marker drawing. So we're just going to go back to the original. And we're going to copy this and open up Photoshop to apply that more handwritten effect to it. So we're going to make an artboard of a thousand odd thousand pixels. We're going to open that command C the illustrator layer and command V paste onto the Photoshop artboard. Next up, we're going to go to filter blur and then apply a Gaussian blur. And this will allow it to feel more like an ink leading effect and not so perfect that Illustrator has with the paintbrush tool that feels a little more vectorized. Next up, we're gonna apply a threshold effect. So on the layers panel, we're just gonna click that circle that's split up and click threshold and a threshold window will pop up and it'll give us a real time view of what it'll look like. And as we drag it to the left, the stroke thickness is gonna thin out a lot more. And as we drag it to the right, it's gonna thicken like a Sharpie. So we're gonna go more towards the middle or about 102 threshold that's feeling good and we can always go back and play it if we want to make it thicker and we're going to open up the frank ocean reference and as you can see there's a nice jagged edges that this inspiration has so we're going to apply that so we're going to make this file resolution a lot bigger so this effect will look better in so let's go to image image size and then let's set the resolution to 150 so the edges are more clear and high resolutions so when we apply this jagged effect it's going to look much better in after this we're going to select the type layer we're going to go to filter distort and add a ripple effect and use this ripple effect really sparingly Definitely experiment and see how it looks, but we're just gonna set it to about 50, which is very subtle and perfect for this effect. So once we hit okay on that, you can see that this ripple style on the edges look really great. Next up, what we wanna do is add a displacement map so that it could look that much more hand-drawn. So we're gonna go to Google, let's type in pencil texture. Let's drag this into our Photoshop in a new file and we're gonna just save it as pencil scratch. After this, we're gonna click on our type layer, go to distort, displace and what we want to set the displace is from 10 to 2 so the effect will be more subtle so after we press ok it's going to take us to a window where we're going to select pencil scratch photoshop file and very subtly as we zoom in it shows a more jagged handwritten organic style to it so that's looking really good so next up we're going to start adding in the text color so we're going to drag our text layer upwards add the multiply effect and add some colors below this text layer. We're going to do green first and we're going to color in the F and the A. 
and then we're gonna do blue which is the K and the C next up is orange and we're gonna just move that star upward so it matches the inspiration a bit more and then color in that N next up is yellow and lastly pink which is the R and the E so that's looking pretty good. And what's missing on this is the nice speckled dotted patterns on the text that the reference has. So we're gonna apply this effect onto it. So again, we're gonna go to Google. We're gonna type in speckled pencil pattern. We're gonna drag this speckled dot pattern in and up the levels so that there's a higher contrast between the dots in the background. And then we're gonna toggle between the, the different filters. And as you can see, the linear blur looks really nice with this effect. So we're gonna apply it on the top. And we're also gonna duplicate this layer to make it a white version as well. And then instead of it being multiplied, we're gonna make it divide so it inverses in color. And feel free to size up the dots, whether you want it larger or smaller. And that's it. It's looking really good for the amount of time we spent on it. And that speckle pattern really gave this effect that much more handwritten feel. So let's move on to the next approach where we physically draw it. So as you can see, I'm quickly doing a bunch of different iterations on the drawing. And there's not really one that I'm liking that much. So we're just gonna keep on drawing and see where it lands. When you finally get the Frank Ocean style that you like, so we're gonna grab our iPhone and quick tip is to make sure that it's close to the lighting so everything's even and we could digitize it that much easier so we're gonna take a photo then we're gonna open it on our computer and as you can see as I zoom in it's looking really cool and it has this organic ink bleeds that the sharpie has that we wouldn't really get from doing it using the brush tool in Adobe Illustrator so what we want to do is drag that into our Photoshop Let's open the hue and saturation and drop this saturation all the way down so it's black and white. We're gonna open up the levels layer to brighten up the contrast and fade away the rough background texture. Next up we wanna do is go to filter, blur, and apply a Gaussian blur. Then we're gonna push that threshold to the right more so that the stroke thickness are thicker. And then we're gonna add the colors and then the speckles. And for this particular physical hand drawing style, it looks more organic with the not so even stroke thicknesses and the waviness of the line weight and has a really nice charming feel that we didn't really get with how clean the Adobe Illustrator brush tool effect had. So that was a really quick tip on hand drawing style. Here's a side by side comparison of how it looks like when it's straight from Adobe Illustrator using the paintbrush tool compared to it being physically hand drawn and having this nice imperfection to it. If you like this video, click on the next recommended tip. Thanks again for watching and I'll catch you in the next one. Have a great rest of your day. Peace.